And a very good evening to all my viewers out there. It is right now Monday, May 23rd, 2022. Exactly 11.31 p.m. And we're here outside Jellycare Metro Station where we're going to go for a little metro ride between here and probably LaSalle Metro. Uh, by the way, this plane up here, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, right there. I just checked on the radar app. It's uh, apparently going to Mexico City from Trudeau Airport here in Montreal. And uh, yeah, anyway, so tonight, as you can see, we're here and look how that elevator is coming. It's going to be opening up hopefully rather soon, relatively speaking, but uh, coming along nicely. So we'll walk around here and we'll go in by the side. We'll get another view here before we go in of the progress being made. There's the end result, what it's supposed to look like when it's done. And this was actually left open, I guess. I'll quickly look here. Yeah, there's the extension, the elevator shaft is right there. So uh, yeah, we'll head on in. And like I said, a nice little metro ride tonight, a few stops. It is Victoria Day here in Canada which uh, gave me a nice long weekend, three-day weekend. And here in Quebec, Victoria Day is known as, I believe, Patriot Day. Because, you know, Quebec always has to do their own little thing. As we go inside, Jolicoeur Metro Station. All right, yeah, I just wanted to show you, this is the new map that's just been released of the STM network. I'm trying to look for the date here. Um, yeah, they're right there. So January 2022. I like how they have the off-island communities as green. Really interesting to see. So uh, anyways, they even have the REM, the REM on here. I guess they're preparing that for when, yeah, when the REM does open, it'll be on the map. Alrighty, so yeah, like I said, it is uh, a weekday today, but it is a holiday. And I'm not too sure, but I think public transit is on a regular schedule. I could be mistaken, but not sure. And of course, we're going to be going one, two, three stops to LaSalle. And, uh, you know, nothing, nothing major, but a little metro ride to begin the week. Looks like all the lights are off here in the ceiling. I don't know if they're having a power difficulties or power outage or something. There's a couple that are on. Or they could just simply be burned out. And uh, yeah, it looks like nine, eight minutes until this metro comes. So of course it is nighttime, so you have to wait a bit more than usual. Here's that construction zone that we saw from the outside behind all these wooden blockades, barriers. Hmm. That's interesting. Maybe somebody's doing work in there. Oh, look at this. This is out of service. Take a picture of this, put it to, uh, add it to my Discord server that I'm a member of. And we'll walk to the end of this platform here. And uh, yeah, we'll get a nice view of the train approaching once it comes around that bend. Sort of reminds me of the Vendome or Vendome curve. Not as dominant, but is very interesting to see. Something looks like something was there at one point. Or it could just be the design of the station. Here's, I believe, the, one of the cabins or boxes where they keep the, I guess, wireless network or 4G network. So you can use the cell phone and the metro system. I think this is where they keep some of their uh, 
their equipment or the hub. Maybe there's servers in there, who knows. So uh, yeah, we'll wait for our, our Metro to come and go for a little ride, a few stops. Set 14. Somebody had mentioned to me, I believe it was a fellow YouTuber, I think it was Gab Tech 990, that when you're looking straight down to one end of the train to the other, it's actually called the Cobra Effect. Now you can see how that turn progressively gets closer to where we are. we're in the back of the train we're gonna get a nice view of the, these escalators at Dilly Gleese coming up Station de right here it comes right now
Fondation La Salle. Yeah, look at that, exactly midnight, Tuesday. Still, we were still rolling a little bit there. Have a good night all.